Welcome to Housekeeping Operations 101. Topic 1 is going to be the accommodation product. We will discuss this in the next topic as well. The accommodation product the room unit is complex and not eternal. It is divided into two parts, material side and the immaterial side. The guest expectations will also be explained very much in detail in topic 2. But as of now, let me just throw some major guest expectations in any hotel. Comfort, security, privacy and convenience. Main components of the room are bedroom and bathroom. This is a very important topic types of rooms. In any hotel for that matter, there are various types of rooms and each name, sometimes each room are named after their properties brand. But the basic are these types of rooms. Basically, a single room, a room with a normal sized bed. What do you mean by a double room? One king size bed or sometimes two single beds as well or one queen bed as well. That means it can accommodate two people. And a twin room, which is two single beds and of course occupancy is for two people. Triple room are two single beds plus one extra bed. So occupancy is for three people as the name implies. Studio room are very common nowadays. It has a normal bed plus sofa come bed. This sofa come bed serves a dual purpose. In the morning it is a sofa and in the nights it can also be pulled over into a bed. Suite room which are very common nowadays are a room with a king size bed and a normal living room. The place suite are two bedrooms with an interconnecting staircase in the room itself. That means two rooms with two extra facilities as well sometimes. Most hotels have this Duplay suite named after their presidents or chairmen. They call it as presidential suite or chairman suite. We also have connecting rooms which has an interconnecting door in between two rooms which helps them to live as a bigger group or as a family. So in that case, the main entrances of the doors need not be accessed to enter into the other room. Adjoining rooms just have one common wall or rooms that are just close by each other, next to each other. Adjacent rooms are close to each other or by each other, opposite to each other. Why do we have to know all the types of rooms? Because in case if you're doing a group check-in or a group of members are coming into your hotel, they always prefer to stay in one floor or they prefer to stay close by each other. So when you just mention adjacent rooms are preferred, so the reservation staff, when they key in the reservation, they mention adjacent rooms are preferred. So the at the time of check-in or the day before when they assign the rooms, it's easier for the reception staff to know what are the room numbers to assign for this particular types of guests according to their request. So types of rooms is what we just saw. Moving further, it's just a pictorial representation of some front door area or a lobby in any hotel. Types of beds that are very contemporary nowadays. And the living room area and the bedroom area as well. The desk area, bathroom area, you can see a shower stall, bathtub. Yeah, you can see all these various bath steps. Okay, basic facilities and services in a hotel are personalized check-in and check-out. This is come. This comes in the executive floors and executive suites. Private lounge for breakfast, additional amenities, butler service, and babysitting. The pricing options. This is very important. Normally, we all know only this: the rack rate. This is the hotel's normal published tariff, which is very expensive. And any other discount offered to any guest comes from this rate only. The corporate rate is only for the corporate clients, and the government rate is a rate offered to all the government organizations, but doesn't have a tax levied upon it. Day rate is given for just a day use, that means only for a few hours. Group rate is offered for group check-ins. Family rate is also some sort of group rate, but it's package rate. That means it's only for families. Complimentary is on the house when hotels do host their own 
high management people or when they have offered it as complimentary for any of their guests then we need to know the pricing option as complimentary and package rate is a seasonal package sometimes on season off season periods or if it's going to be christmas season they do have package rates which means it's only applicable for that period so moving further we have the meal plan most hotels nowadays come with the continental plan what do you mean by american plan those days when people do choose a hotel they choose a hotel for accommodation, breakfast, lunch and dinner to be covered in the same hotel premises. That's why we call as an American plan. When you talk about modified American plan, the hotels later discovered that the guests don't stay in the hotel premises for the whole day. If they're going to stay in the hotel for lunch, they might go out or choose to go out for dinner. So that's why the hotels came up with another plan called as modified American plan or MAP which covers the room's accommodation, breakfast, lunch or dinner. And you also have an European plan which does not cover the F&B cost along with the room. That means it's just the room charges you pay for. Continental plan is the most common plan nowadays which all rooms like bed and breakfast they offer the room as well as the breakfast. Why do we need to know the various types of plans? It's because when you key in a reservation, it's very easy for you if you just mention what plan are the guests are. So that it's easy for the reception staff as well as the cashiers to key in the appropriate charges onto the room for you. Thank you. Let's move over to the next topic. Cheers.